Michelle and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Okay, do you guys want to try new makeup and just talk today? If you do, then stay put, hit the subscribe button, share this video so somebody think you might like it, and let's do it. All right, everyone, I have so much new makeup in front of me. A lot of this is PR, but I'm going to tell you if I would actually purchase this with my own money. Um, one of the things I did purchase with my own money. So, you ready? And then, let's talk. Where have I been? What's happening in Elle's life, okay? All right, deep breath. Okay, so first of all, I've actually used this before, but it's brand new packaging, and I haven't used this in, in years. So Ren just sent this to me. This is the perfect canvas. Clean primer. This has no silicone in it. It used to be my go-to when I worked um, as a senior artist in my small stint at Sephora many years ago. Um, I just have sunscreen on right now. This has no silicone in it. This is supposed to be for all skin types. I used to love this primer. It is really um, fantastic for just a touch of a little mattifying, great base, etc. And I just loved it because it was one of the only ones that didn't have silicone in it. Oh, that's nice. I forget I haven't used them in so long. And we actually are giving a little Halloween theme. We're, we're trying out the brand new collection from ColourPop from highlighting Hocus Pocus. And it's a beautiful, beautiful palette, actually. And so we're going to be having some fun with some colors. We're going to kind of go into like some, you know, some deeper makeup. All right. Second of all, all right. So to prime my lips, Kosas just actually um, worked together with one of my favorite CBD oil face oils. One of them is the Flora and Bast, and it, they made a lip balm. So we're going to try that right now. And this is a 50 milligram, I believe. Yeah, CBD. Mm. Ooh, it's kind of minty. That's nice. Mm. If you're looking for a really nice hydrating lip balm, that's good. Kosas is a fantastic brand. So this is something that I just purchased. I had the light one and it was way too light. This is the Josie Moran Argon Matchmaker Serum Foundation. Listen, it only comes in two colors. Let's just be real. This is the darkest out of the two. Um, so I'm not going to recommend that you guys go out and get this because of the lack of shade ranges. But I did get it because I wanted to see if I could just wear it as like a throw on foundation. And that definitely is m much more my color. So pretty lame on Josie Moran for not, um, you know, basically catering to the whole, you know, the whole demographic of the world. But I wanted to try it. So, so yeah, this is just a kind of a throw on foundation. It's fine. It's a color changing foundation. So it's white. This does make me look a little bit tanner, which I'm not mad at. Look at my nose. See how it's white, you guys? So it's okay. It doesn't come up, cover up any imperfections or anything like that, but I can get over that. All right. So we're going to start on our eyes. Where have I been? You guys, you have been killing it at Skin by L. You have been so kind to me. Um, we hit 182,000 subscribers on here. I just can't thank you guys enough for all of your support that you have been giving me over the past several months. Um, and especially some of the, and especially those of you that have actually been able to come to see me in my spa. Sorry, I'm trying to get a brush. Um, it has literally been, I mean, I've started businesses before. I'm using the Ultra Ego brush collection. It's so fantastic. Super inexpensive. I'll see if I can link it below, but it's like all these brushes and they're so inexpensive. But um, you guys have been really coming to see me, coming in hard, and I just so appreciate everything that you guys have done with me. Um, it just means the world to me. So that is really where I've been. I'm prepping my eyes with just like a, you know, like my flesh tone shadow. Okay, I'm using this one from Makeup Revolution. Is this a new palette to them? They sent it to me and there's just not a lot of pigment going on. Hmm. All right, I think I'm going to go into something else. All right, I think I'm going to go into the Chris and Dominique palette, the Latte 2. We're going to go into Frosty and, no, Frothy and I'll be that. If you guys want me to do a um, whole video on the Chris and Dominique palette, let me know. I've used some of these colors before. See, there is some pigment. Very nice. All right. Um, literally, I have just been trying to balance everything. Um, and I feel really bad that I haven't posted as much as I usually do. And I'm so sorry. And thank you so much for sticking with me and just supporting me along the way. It means a lot to me. Um, but that is, it's been a lot. 
I'm also working on some like, really cool, exciting projects coming up that you'll hear about soon. Um, and it's just been, it's just been, you know, all good things. Nothing to complain about for real, okay? But, you know, just overwhelming at most. Um, okay, so we're going to kind of build this eye up. We're going to start with uh, Hello Salem, and we're going to start to build this eye. We're actually going to do lashes today, you guys. Aren't you excited? Okay, so I'm just going to go into the crease. Derek and I had our 10-year anniversary, so that also happened. Gray turned six. I have actually a six-year-old, which I can't even believe. It's a pretty color. These are this is blending really nicely. And so that was like, you know, a whole weekend's worth of everything. What else? I mean, just really trying to get the, you know, the spa together and Google reviews. And um, a lot of you guys have been having phone consultations with me. I'm so excited about that. Thank you so much. I guess it doesn't sound like I've been up to a lot, but that is just a lot. Oh, and then Gray's at school, obviously, and she doesn't go to school on Fridays now, which is just, yeah, I understand. It's just the way it is right now. So that's been kind of, so I've only had like four days a week to get anything done. Let's build this bad boy up. Let's go into purples. Let's do some purples today. Um, but we are going to go into this kind of brown color right here. We're just going to build this saturation up here in the middle of our eye and then build into the crease a little bit. Yeah, these colors are pretty, you guys. This palette's really pretty. I like that you can do a lot of purples, and it looks like you can do a lot of golds, and there's a beautiful color, like black color, called I Call It, I call it a Bus. <laughs> if you guys know the movie, that's a cute reference. That's a beautiful color. This palette so far is well worth getting. This is a beautiful palette. If you want some more rich tones, purples, some really nice, um, diff they have like, really, what I really love is they have different, textures. So here's your glitters, here's your more soft satins, and then here's your mattes. I think this is a very well done palette so far. And they have like a khaki color in here, which, oh my gosh, I probably should do a khaki. I could probably do a couple, like many looks with this palette. What else is going on? I don't even know. Um, okay. So now we're going to go into this color right here, which is a beautiful kind of fuchsia color right here. It's called Dead Man's Toe. Um, and we're just going to kind of, I don't even know what I'm really doing. I'm just building patting motions on a short brush. You guys have been asking me for a colored halo eye, so um, maybe we'll do a little bit of that today. Some sort of wearable halo eye. Bray's been doing really good. We have actually changed her medication, so we're hoping that things um, get a lot better. Um, they're, they were good for a little while, and then I don't know what happened, um, which is just the, the case. With epilepsy, um, so we now have transitioned her onto Depakote. She's on a couple other meds too, but she's on Depakote. That's her new med, and it takes a while to titrate up. Um, so I'm throwing things. So that'll take us a minute to get to where we need to be dose-wise on that. But um, I actually, I don't know if she wants her name, you know, set on here. But I talked to actually a subscriber whose son actually suffered from something similar like Gray, and she swears by Depakote, and I have actually have a couple other friends that are, um, their kids are on Depakote, so we're hoping that the success that they have all had, we have, we will have as well. We have not stopped any alternative other treatments, because we won't, um, and that's as much as we got for you with that one. Okay, now we're going to go into Night of Frolic, which is this deep matte kind of maroon color. So pretty. I used to wear these colors all the time. Like these maroons were like my go-to. If you guys have watched me for a long time, there was a phase where I wore nothing but these maroon colors. These are so pretty. These shadows blend gorgeously. And there is minimal, minimal fallout. And then has anybody else just been feeling like kind of just exhausted? I don't know what my deal is, but... I just have find myself at the at night or even midday just exhausted. I don't know what it is. Um, these are new earrings I got from my, um, uh, I can't even think, from my Nordstrom box. I do that box that they do. I think think about canceling it and doing the Amazon box. Let me know, comment below if you guys would like me to cancel the Nordstrom's one and get the um, Amazon fashion box that they have. And maybe I'll do like monthly or however many times you get it, um, try-ons. So let me know what you all think. I'm mixing the deep black in with the Night of Frolic. So when you guys ask me for a um, colorful halo eye, absolutely. There are no rules to makeup. If you wanna wear a colorful halo eye, 
go on with your bad self. That is totally fine. Um, I just find that these are more reserved for, you know, kind of fancier nights. Like if you're going to go out, um, I just, you know, it's just not my style to wear something like this during the day, but it doesn't have to be. My style doesn't have to be yours, right? Okay. This is, these colors though are so pretty. When you do like these kind of more colorful eyes and things kind of maybe look a little bit patchy on the ends, you can clean that up. Don't worry about it. Let's get everything done. Let's get our concealer on and then we'll kind of tighten that up. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, there is a giveaway today. So stay to the end to find out those details. You know what I'm gonna do? Is we're gonna mix a few palettes here. I'm gonna take the yellow from the Chris and Dominique and I'm gonna pop this in here. Yes, that's what I'm looking for, yeah. Um, these are beautiful colors together. People shy away from yellow and it's, it's so beautiful. Let's give this some um, glitter. I'm gonna go in with Brew Potion, which is this kind of poppy gold, but I like it when you apply it with your finger. They go on a lot better. Yeah, see there's just a little bit of fallout from that gold color. That's why we do our concealer last. Okay, you guys have been in the weirdest mood. I've been filmed in forever, so I'm feeling a little bit like, Ooh. Um, We're gonna go in with the uh, liner that comes with this collection, and this is just the purpley one. And we're gonna go, ooh, that is pretty. And I'm just gonna leave it on the outer third. I don't wanna cover up this center section. And then you guys let me know if you guys want me to do the, um, like Sephora has a new sale coming up on the 10th. I mean, I just, I don't have a ton of new recommendations for you, but let me know and I'll make a, what I would buy at the Sephora sale. So let's go into this. This was also sent to me. This is the Makeup Roulette Revolution Conceal and Define. It is their concealer. This is a touch light for me. This is in C2.5, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna use it as a little bit of highlighter around the face to give a little bit more coverage in the places that I need a little more coverage. All right, so this, I, this is actually a dry sponge. This is not wet. This sponge is dry. I sometimes use, you know, sponges damp or dry. Just today, since it's not a full coverage, um, I'm gonna, I don't wanna thin it out because I wanna add a little bit more coverage, so we're gonna add, just use it dry. Okay, this concealer's, the concealer's fine. I mean, it's super reasonably priced. Um, it's definitely not overly hydrating at all. Um, so this is a very much so just like a typical uh, concealer with, doesn't have any hydration in it. So if you are super, super dry, you might wanna really hydrate with a, um, eye cream first and then you can put this on but that concealer actually looks pretty nice i don't think it's too too light for me what do you guys think there's no creasing oh you guys i don't mind that concealer oh and as a side note i am trying to um film the stuff i do at the studio like facials and stuff, but you gotta bear with me. I'm trying to juggle at like giving a really good facial for somebody that pays for it and then filming it. And then I have to have two camera angles. So most people that do it on YouTube have a, like a camera person and I just don't feel comfortable doing that. So bear with me, hopefully it will come. What are your guys' kids gonna be or what are you gonna be for Halloween? Hmm? So last year we really went out all as a family, like we were a vampire family and it was so cute and so fun. I just don't know if I have it in me this year to do it. Um, Gray is going to be Queen Barb. <laughs> She's obsessed with the trolls. Um, and I think it's so funny that she doesn't want to be Poppy, that she wants to be Queen Barb. So I got her that costume already. And then she wants us to be trolls, but Daddy and I are just kind of like, eh, I don't know about that. So we'll see. But what are you guys dressing up as? I used to do, I'm just adding a little bit of black. Oh my gosh, my camera just turned off. I've been taking, talking so long. It's gonna be a long video. Sorry, everybody. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, now I'm going in with the uh, Hourglass Mineral Veil Powder and I'm just gonna set it. Again, you don't really need to set this foundation. It's pretty much set, um, which I think is great. So if you, you were running around or wearing it to the gym or, or something like that, you wouldn't need to um, set it with powder, but it will give me a little bit more coverage. I love that this, the powder is not, I mean, the, the sponge is nice. 
I mean, nothing too crazy. You can just use a brush if you really wanted to, but you know, for this look, I wish I would have used a little bit more of a fuller coverage foundation just because it would look better, but hey, it's okay, all right? All right, so let's go with, so the sponge, would I buy it? I don't know. Um, sure, why not? I mean, if you like real techniques and they have it as a package of as one, why not? All right, these pretties are brand new launches from Jouer. These are blush and uh, they're cheek and lip duos. Celebrate me and amuse me. Those are the two colors I'm gonna use. And I know I already powdered, don't kill me. I'm just doing things out of order today, I guess. That is gorgeous. And this actually goes over really pretty over powder. Um, I'm gonna use, this is actually Amuse Me. I think I'm probably just gonna use this color and then I'll probably use a bronzer after. These are gorgeous. They are easy to use. They feel really good on the skin. They have a very, very natural flush. I love these, you know me, anything cream. Um, very easy to use, very user friendly. You guys have to get on that train. These are beautiful. See on the lips a little bit. I need to do a lip scrub. Okay, so Amuse Me, you guys, is gorgeous. Um, this one is Inspire Me. It's a little bit more like ready pink. Okay, I will say real quick though, the glitter from that palette is kind of all over the place. So maybe a brush might have been better um, with a little bit of setting spray or something on it. Okay, and we're back. I did put that little lashes on. This is um, the little lashes that come with it. They're okay. They're not amazing quality. They're called Clever Witch. Um, I just kind of cut them a little bit just so they're on the outsides. I haven't worn lashes in probably close to a year, maybe. Um, so they feel just a touch weird. I put my brows on. Um, I'm just going to finish it off. This gloss I've actually been wearing nonstop. This is from another ColourPop collection, you know, the Sunflower one. This is called Sun Soaked. And it is like a easy, you know what I mean? an easy lip gloss. All right, let's, let's rack through this. Okay, I do think this palette is good, but as I'm like sitting here, I just don't think that I would use, this is the only one in the whole palette. I, I, don't, I wouldn't use this right here. Unless you wanna use it on a synthetic brush, put a little bit of um, like spray on it and then tap it in the middle, that might be better. But even as I wear it, it's kind of flopping down on the skin. But the palette overall is fantastic, great price point. Um, I really like this concealer. I'm shocked that I like this concealer because you know my go-to is the Milani Conceal and Perfect right now, and this is really good. Do you guys like this? Let me know if you guys have tried this one. Oh my God. Uh, this is gonna be a pass, the Josie Moran Foundation. The Ren Perfect Canvas, I've used it before. I love it. I think it's great. I haven't used it in years, um, but I like it a lot. These cheek and lip, they're definitely like a must. Um, if you're looking for a new uh, cream product, these are gorgeous. So I absolutely love this. So we're th that's a good to go. And then the lip, you know, chapstick's nice if you guys like Kosas and want to have like a higher end, you know, chapstick. All right, so that is it. Here is your fall, winter 2020 inspired look with all brand new products. So a lot of these I would absolutely purchase. Some of them I, I, I probably wouldn't. Um, but let me know your favorites. And for the giveaway, for the next several weeks, I'm gonna be doing these kind of goodie give, give back, I can't even talk, these goodie bags um, over the next few weeks to uh, one lucky winner per video. So just comment below, tell me hi. Um, make sure you guys are watching over the next two weeks to really enter these. I mean, these goodie bags are like shoved full of stuff, okay? So um, if you've ever won any of my you know, giveaways, you know that I don't mess around. So thank you all so, so much for being here. I love each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye, loves.